I'm going to begin by explaining to you the relationship between gravity and your health. I'm going to explain how whole body vibration works, talk a little on the scientific evidence, explain to you how to practically apply it, the variables that you have at your fingertips and how to use those variables to get the best advantage from the machine. And then we're going to talk about the dangers, the contraindications, the precautions that you need to use. So previously, the changes that we saw in bed rest that we thought were due to inactivity are in fact not due to inactivity. They're due to a lack of exposure to gravity. Now that same group of changes can be seen in another subset of people, the elderly. Now speaking to gerontologists, they say when we reach a certain age, the brain kind of switches off and people lose their enthusiasm for movement and exercise. And so there's that prolonged sitting that likewise allows the person to slump down, to lose muscle mass, to lose bone density, to lose coordination, to have the slowdown in blood flow. So the elderly are falling into decrepitude not because of the lack of exercise so much, but because of the lack of exposure to gravity. The other thing that I didn't talk about, the stretch reflex causes nearly 100% of the muscle fibres to work. When you do a conscious muscle contraction, did you know only 40% of your muscle fibres are working? So it's immediately two and a half times more efficient than a, con the, than a conscious muscle contraction. So, at that eight to 10 hertz range, I'd like one person from each group to go and just do some slow, gentle pelvic tilts. And this is all about grace quality of movement rather than quantity of movement. If it's difficult, put your hands on your hips and move your hips with your hands. Most people with back pain have no idea how to control their pelvis. You've got a good anterior tilt, but your post go posterior tilt now? Yeah, that's better. Okay. 